Hi guys, I'm in the Boeing 747-400 simulator outside in Hong Kong, runway 25 left. There's a cargo apron over there and looking across there is the control tower and the terminal building on there. Okay, so I'm on the runway. We've got a departure put in there. We're gonna go that way. What I want to show you is I'm talking about the takeoff configuration warning. Now the takeoff configuration warning on the 747 is for flaps incorrectly placed, parking brake set, stabilizer trim not in the correct band, or on the 747-400 and the Dash 8 if you like. So I'm going to show you what warnings we get. So pilots should always uh, make sure that the air aircraft is in the right configuration before setting thrust for takeoff. Many years ago an aeroplane took off and the flaps were not in the correct position for takeoff and it stalled after takeoff. So some of these things are dangerous. You have to have the flaps or stabilizer and so on in the right place. Otherwise you're placing the aeroplane in a dangerous situation as you lift off the ground. So let's have a look. So right now, the correct flap setting. On the 747, we have two flap settings. Let me show you the flap people. So we have two flap settings. We have flaps 10, uh, 20 for takeoff and flaps 10 position for takeoff. So two flap settings for takeoff. Right here, it's showing that I've selected flaps 20, okay? So I'll come back here and deliberately set the wrong flap setting. So let's go for flaps five. So I've put it in the flap five position there. You can see, flap five position. The flaps are moving from 20 where they were. They're moving now to flaps five, green. So now the flaps are five. That is not a takeoff flap setting. I'm on the runway, so the pilots are now cleared for takeoff. And the pilot decides, okay, we're clear for takeoff. For some reason, they've missed the fact that they've got the wrong flap setting, which is difficult because there's several checks and balances as you go along. The checklists, the procedures should make sure that the flaps are not in any other position other than the takeoff flap setting. Okay, so let's go. So I decide it's time to go. I release the park brake. I stand the thrust levers up for takeoff. The thrust winds up to a stabilized point, about 1.1. I hit the toga switch. And before I even go, look at this. Config flaps. So I bring the thrust levers back reject the takeoff because obviously there's a problem with the flaps and it tells us the config flaps that is called the configuration warning so it's disappeared on its own because it says well they're not taking off anymore the thrust levers are back so you might say oh if you know it's config flaps why can't you just carry on the takeoff and select the flap to the takeoff configuration and keep going and take off well, you can't because whatever the speeds you have set for takeoff might be based on flap 20, but in fact, you, take, you might put it into the flap 10 position. Now, you don't know which one of the two you're supposed to be using, flap 10 or flap 20. So it's best to reject the takeoff, get off the runway, regroup, redo the calculations, new takeoff figures and so on. Very embarrassing. Report writing afterwards when you get to destination and all that what happened and explanation when you get back to your home base, but that's what you have to do, okay? That's what the pilot would have to do anyway. So, that's the first one. Take off configuration warning because the flaps were in incorrect. So this time, I'll put the flaps to a takeoff flap setting, which was should have been flaps 20. So the flaps 20 selected and they're moving back to flaps 20. As you can see there, flaps 20, so, the other thing you, you have to have, of course, for takeoff, the next one, is the stabilizer trim. The stabilizer helps the pilot control the rotation rate, the amount of pull for takeoff. If it's incorrect, it might need quite a lot of pull and it might be difficult for the pilot to lift off the runway. And the aeroplane may continue to go because the stabilizer trim is completely 
out of trim. So you need the stabilizer in the right position. We see the stabilizer trim on the 400 here. There's a stabilizer trim. And we're expecting it to be within this green band. This green band here is the takeoff configuration trim band for the current aircraft weight. It all depends on aircraft weight. So there it is. So if it was outside the band, I trim the stabilizer using these two trims, which is here. This one, that's nose down, that's nose up. And the first officer has a switch as well. Same switches over there on the first officer side. So every time I move this, there's two switches there, as you can see, there's two of them there. If you move them in opposite direction, there's no trim. One is a control switch, one is a safety switch. So I'm going to move this so that the stabilizer is out of the green band. So I'm se selecting nose up at the moment. You see that the white band is moving. It's outside the green band now. And I've stopped moving the step trim. So I've moved it outside the green band. The white has gone outside the green band. It should be in there. So this time we've got the flap correct. We can take off, I'll take the fat brake off. Looking out there. Fat brake is off once again. Trust to stand up that they're stabilized. And I'm gonna hit the toga again to take off. So again, I've got to take the thrust off and as you can see, it's saying config stab. Stab is short for stabilizer, as you've probably seen. So I've slowed down, I've closed the thrust levers. The warning has gone away because it says, oh, he's got it right now. Okay, fine. So I've set the parking brake. So again, we can't take off with the stabilizer. And again, you'd have to reject the takeoff, ask ATC to clear off the runway, regroup, do the data calculations, find out what the stabilizer trim was, and uh, again, report writing when you get back to home base, what happened, and so on. Um, the next one I'm going to show you, configuration warning again, is this time, if for some reason, we, we've stopped on the runway, we've been cleared for takeoff, and we set the thrust with the parking brake set. Look here, it says park brake set. So the park brake is set. This is the park brake lever here, see here? park brake and that's the lever the brake is released by me using my feet so I'm going to release the brake now and see what happens to the lever park brake off because we've been cleared for takeoff and this time just looking at the stabilizer trim it's now I've just moved it back into the green band so stabilizers in the green band that's correct the flaps and flaps 20 which is a takeoff flap setting the speeds are set for flaps 20, so those speeds are valid. Flaps 20 and the park brake has been released. So now I'm going to put the park brake on. So I depress the pedals, pull the lever, release the pedals, and the lever stays up in place. And up here it says, park brake set so everything is in the right place except when we're cleared for takeoff I don't release the park brake and I say okay we're clear for takeoff so I put the thrust up again we're clear for takeoff at the end of the runway stabilize I hit the toga for takeoff and this time config park brake once again, the pilot says, oh, shit. Okay, I've disconnected the auto throttle and I put the thrust back and we've stopped on the runway. And I wanted to show you that, the config park brake. So we're stopped. The warning has gone. Now that particular one, you could just get that warning and release the brake because there's no harm. You haven't used any of the runway. So in, in practice, when whenever that has happened, the thrust and 
then the config comes, you can just release the brakes and the warning will go and you can continue to take off because that's not so much of a danger. So I'll show you again. Park brakes, park brake set. I'm gonna set the thrust for takeoff. Set the thrust. So the warning has come on. I've released the park brake and you can see the warning immediately goes away. So that particular one you can actually get away with not getting off the runway you can just release the park brake and continue to take off you know and uh, that's not too dangerous if anything it's very safe if the airplane is saying don't take off there's one more i could show you but i'll show you that next time because uh, i've run out of time and the simulator is in use in about five minutes okay so what other configuration warning system have i not told you about which one do you think it is so I've shown you the park brake set. I've shown you the stabilizer out of the green band, not set for takeoff. I've shown you the flap in the incorrect position. There's one more that will give you a config warning on the Boeing 747 that I haven't mentioned here. Which one do you think it is? Later. So the, cap, the uh, pilots have forgotten the parking brake. The park brake is set. So there we are. Parkway set. We understand the thrust levers up to get the stabilized set because we've been clear for takeoff. There's the runway. So the thrust is coming up. Before I hit the toga, there's the toga switch there. Hit the toga. And we get a one feet park brake. We're not going anywhere, as you can see. First off, so there we are. We've stopped, got the park brake set because we forgot to take it off. In practice, you just release the park brake and off you go. So that's gone away. The next configuration warning is if the flaps are not in the correct position for takeoff. Now, there's two flap settings for takeoff on the Boeing 747. 400 and the dash 8 flaps 20 where the flaps are now there they are or flaps 10 so those two are the only flap settings for takeoff on the boeing 747 so we've got them at flaps 20. this is where we read it as well verify flaps 20. so let's say i deliberately set the flaps the flaps 5. there we go flaps 5. So the flaps are moving to flaps 5 which is not a takeoff flap setting. Brakes will be released. Flaps five. There we are, flaps five. It should be in the flaps 10 or 20, which are the two flap settings for takeoff on the 747. I'll release the park brake. Park brake is released. We're cleared for takeoff. So stabilizer trim is correct. It's in the green band, there's a stabilizer trim. So we're cleared for takeoff. Again, I turn the thrust levers up. This thrust starts to come up to a stabilized point. And then I hit the toga like that. And this time it says config flaps. So I brought the thrust speaker, thrust back. flaps will disappear now that I've put the thrust levers back. It knows we're not taking off anymore. I've brought the aircraft to a stop and I've set the parking brake. I put the lever up, I press barrels and the warning has gone. So this time I'm going to take the stabilizer trim out of the green band. So there it is, it's moving. See the stabilizer is going moving. I've just put it just outside the green band there. Eh? Okay, so it's outside the green band and we're going to attempt another takeoff. So this time, park brake is released. Flaps, flaps 10. 
the right place. Stabilizer is outside the green band, as you can see there. It's just outside the green band. On the runway. Set the thrust. Head to toga. Thrust comes up. Stabilizer trim is in the green band. Flaps are take in the takeoff flap stand. Park brake is released, and I'm going to set the thrust for takeoff. 